Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you and give you some tips on how to find your lost hamster. If you're watching this, I definitely hope that you're not watching this because you're currently looking for your hamster and you're watching this because you want to know from the future when you're looking for your hamster. But hopefully this situation never comes to you. So I'm going to break down some easy steps to follow when you're looking for your hamster that may have escaped from the cage and maybe you was holding them and they jumped out and ran or anything like that may have happened. I'm going to teach you some a few tips and tricks to find your lost hamster. The first thing that you want to do is definitely notice how long has it been since you lost your hamster. You want to notice the surroundings of the area. If, like especially if you keep your hamster cage in your bedroom, you want to notice how long has it been that you've noticed. You want to notice what's any doors closed or are they open. Um, you also want to know if you have any opening holes in your bedroom or in your area that your hamster is being kept in or any cracks or anything like that that your hamster may be able to fit through because hamsters can squeeze in small spaces whether you know it or don't but they will try to even if it means that they get stuck along the way this will help narrow down where your hamster might be because obviously if it's closed that means your hamster more than likely is still in that room that they were originally in so obviously if the door is open that means that you need to search for a broader area which can be a little bit more harder and difficult to locate them so it also helps to know but it also helps to base this off of daytime or nighttime because your hamster is awoke during the night which means they'll be a lot more active during this time. So if you're looking for your hamster and it's daytime, you have a very, very high chance of finding them during this time because more often than not, they're probably laying down somewhere sleeping. Once you um, take a look at your surroundings and make sure everything that I mentioned about, the next thing that you want to do is put out treats, food, and water. Um, I would recommend putting this if you have the door closed, you can just put it in one area of the room. If you have the door open and you have a two-story home, I would definitely place this in multiple spots throughout the home. But also keep in mind where you're putting this. That way, if your hamster eats it, and also it helps to take a picture of each one. That way you know what you had in here and how much did you have. That way, if your hamster is drinking food, eating water, that way, if your hamster is drinking water or eating food, you know that your hamster is still alive and you know that they was around that area the last time that they were out. I always recommend leaving out food and water and treats just so that your hamster doesn't um, starve or become severely dehydrated throughout this time. After you have put everything out, the next thing that I would recommend is moving to this step. And this step is more so of observing your surroundings and keeping the ear open. And basically, especially at night, this is probably like one of the best times to do this because that's when they're awoke, which means that's when they're making the most noise. I would either put like aluminum foil down or like some like loud paper on the floor. Um, that way if they walk across it, you would hear it, especially if you're in the same room as them, and you can hear them walk across because obviously when they step on it, it will make a noise. They're gonna be like, what was that? And you know that your hamster is right there which can be a very easy way to find them and locate them. Um, also, if you don't want to put anything down on the floor, you can definitely like a camera. I know a lot of people nowadays have cameras in their home um, for like safety or like, you know, just things like that. You can set up a camera in like a main area of your home. Like say you have an area that you have to get through to get anywhere. I will set it and maybe turn it a certain way and position it that way you can have um, a camera access of that area that way you can also help track your hamster a lot easier because you might see them run across the screen one day i do want to mention this um if you have like a small carrier that your hamster goes in or like any type of small enclosed bin that you could put them in i would definitely recommend leaving that out as well um if you need to have like the door open um obviously they can get in or have it laid to the side so that they can easily walk in and put like food treats up in there as well it's also help because if they go in there, it's a possibility that they'll fall asleep up in there. So this can help you locate your hamster also easier and they're already 
um, inside of something so that you can put them back inside their original cage. At night, like I mentioned, um, you really want to keep an ear out because that's when you're going to have the most activity and the most high chances of locating your hamster. Um, they do really like dark areas, but that can make it harder for you to see. So if you have LED lights, like most people nowadays have throughout their bedroom and throughout their home, um, I would definitely recommend setting the color to red because to them, it'll still seem dark. But to us, obviously, we'll have that light to be able to see. So this helps keep them feeling like they're safe and secure and walking through a dark area. And, but this will also help you be able to see your hamster a lot easier to be able to see inside the room. So at night, I would definitely recommend turning on those red LED lights, turning on those red lights, and just um, using that as your way to be able to see where your hamster might be. Then also at night when you're laying down in bed, I would also just keep an ear out because if you don't want to put the aluminum on the floor or anything that's like loud paper, um, you can oftentimes hear them like um, going across or making noise. Just leave like loud stuff out. If you have a loud hamster wheel or any of their like loud favorite toys, I would definitely put that out. Like wood sticks, things that they could chew on because I don't know if it's just me, but you can definitely hear like have to chew on something pretty hard. So I would definitely leave those out and just about keeping the listening ear. Um, if you have any holes in your wall, I would definitely try to quickly close them up. That should be like one of the first things you do when you observe your surroundings. And that first step, I would definitely quickly like cover those up because your hamster will definitely try to go in there if they can. And then you will have a hamster in your walls and you do not want that because at that point, you're probably not gonna be able to get your hamster back alive. It's like really slim chances at that point. And with these tips and tricks, I definitely hope that this helped give you an idea on how to find your lost hamster. If you're going through this right now and you do need help and you need advice, definitely let me know down in the comment section below and just ask me. Um, I'm usually like really good at replying back um, quickly. So I will definitely answer them and give them, and give you as much information as I can to help you out. And I definitely hope if this comes to you and this situation happens to you that you find your lost hamster. I've been there before. I've had my hamster escape from their cage. I've had it happen multiple times. So I understand what it can feel like. And hopefully these things help you. If you would like to see more of my videos, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss every upload. I tend to upload every Saturday. And then if you want to check out my cozy gameplay on my Switch, I will leave that channel in the description box below. And the name is right here, Maya's Cozy Cove. Check it out on YouTube. I am trying to get back to uploading on that channel a bit more. I do have plans for that channel in the future, so that should be coming soon. And I've become more active on that channel. So if you do watch that channel and you're on this channel as well, just know that I'm, I'm coming back over there as well. I'm, I'm bringing it back up. I know I've been, I've been like a little behind on that channel. But thank you all so much for watching. And I will hopefully see you all in my next video. Bye.